Hey Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see who's coming into your life next, okay? So what will your next major relationship be like? So not necessarily the next brief encounter or the next, you know, fleeting romantic connection you might have, but who's coming into your life and, um, you know, who wants to stay, um, stay in it for the long haul. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep mindful of that. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and see who's coming in towards you. Um, perhaps, you know, we can also uh, get a timeline or a time frame around when this um, relationship or this connection might unfold. Okay, so this person's energy is very stable, okay? Um, your next relationship, your next connection is going to be, um, it's going to be a very sturdy foundational structure, okay? Um, this person is going to bring in a lot of stability into your life. And I'm also seeing that this person comes from, um, they've had a lot of long-term relationships, okay? So a lot of long-term partnerships um, and they're they're looking for something long term okay long term they're looking for um you know they're not looking for any casual arrangements they're not looking for any one night stands this is someone who wants a relationship this is someone who wants to grow and build a connection um, because they understand that love is a commitment and this person is very committed this is a very um a very reliant energy, a very consistent energy, a very stable energy, okay? This person is very loving, loyal, and is very, uh, very caring, very compassionate, very committed. I feel like this person is everything that you've ever wanted in a romantic partner. You do have the Page of Cups, which is your energy, and the Page of Cups always brings in this novelesque kind of energy. So I feel like this is someone whom, it's like this person will has all the traits and the characteristics, all the qualities that you've always found uh, very, you know, um, attractive in a partner. This person ticks off all of your boxes, or at the very least, most of your boxes. This is someone whom, either this is someone you've always wanted, or this person is the type of person that you've always seen yourself with, or it's the type of relationship that you've always craved and that you've always wanted to be in. So there's something quite like novelesque and something very romantic about the Page of Cups energy. And I do feel like either this is like a childhood sweetheart or someone who resembles like, or might even remind you of a childhood sweetheart. Um, or otherwise, it is someone whom you've always like, you always fantasize about this type of person, that this type of um relationship, this type of connection, this type of um, setup, okay? This is someone who I feel like, um, someone who is very, they've got this very alluring kind of energy. They're also very charming, okay? There's a lot of charm to this person's energy. They're also going to be very, um, I'm getting that this is a very, um, like a breath of fresh air, okay? This is going to be, there's something very refreshing about them. They're very different, um, this person is very different to any partners um, that you might have dated in the past. And I feel like this relationship is going to be like a breath of fresh air. And it's going to be very different to any relationships that you've ever had in the past. Especially for those of you who haven't had anything long term. This potentially might be your first and maybe even your last long term relationship. Because there is such commitment okay around this person's energy. I'm also seeing that this is someone whom you have manifested. Okay, Understand that. And it makes sense, right? This is someone whom you've manifested and drawn into your life because it is someone you've always wanted. And you've always wanted something just, something exactly like this and you finally get it. So this person will be very drawn to your energy. And I'm also seeing that everything is going to be very organic. The pacing of this connection is going to be on the slower side, especially given the suit of pentacles and the suit of cups here. However, everything is going to unfold natural, okay? The pacing might seem a little bit slow, to yourself but if it will feel very natural it will feel very organic as well um, for some of you you've had a lot of challenges I'm seeing that you've had a lot of challenges uh, when it comes to you know romantic relationships you might have been dealing with a lot of um, partners or in the past you've dealt with a lot of people that may have been 
emotionally immature and emotionally juvenile and they may not not have always been able to meet your emotional needs within a relationship this person as i mentioned is a breath of fresh air and is very diff um it's very different okay it's very different that, to the type of um persons that you've dated in the past it's also been for some of you you've been single for a long time now you've been intentionally single because i'm seeing that some of you might still be healing from a past breakup or some of you might still be healing from something very um, emotionally challenging and emotionally traumatic but i think this person is going to help you leave not like leave the past but this person also going to i feel like this person has a healing quality and this person is going to help you see that you know even though the past is very much you know a huge part of you it doesn't necessarily have to define you and here's the thing the other thing that I'm getting very strongly is that whatever it is you had to go through in the um, with your previous relationship or with your most recent relationship, even though it's been very turbulent and very tumultuous and it's something that has threatened your peace of mind, okay, you do not like, and because a lot of you have been, you've been very hurt during um, maybe most of the romantic relationships you've had in the past or given this very recent experience that you've had, maybe you felt very betrayed and very hurt. I don't know why, but I'm seeing that a lot of you carry a lot of, like, there's a heavy energy of pain, like a heavy weight of uh, pain here. And maybe you, or maybe this is your conditioning and your programming, you know, the emotional environment in which you grew up in. But relationships do not have to be heartbreaking. They do not have to be painful. They do not have to be, you know, uncomfortable and they don't have to be challenging. But a lot of you equate relationships with pain because you've experienced a lot of pain or you grew up in an emotional emotional environment that was painful and that wasn't very stable. But this person is about to show you otherwise. So for a lot of you you've been you've been single for quite some time. And when this person comes along, it's like you're ready. Okay, you're ready and they're ready. It feels like a, a perfect match. I'm also seeing that this person is very wise. Very wise Hermit's energy um, could be very introverted, okay, or emotionally introverted. Um, I do see that this is potentially someone a little bit older than you, or this person is coming up as someone who is a lot, you know, is um, very wise, a bit of an old soul, or is wiser beyond their, um, much, is wiser beyond their years. Um, but for some of you, there is an age gap. I'm seeing that this person is uh, older than yourself. Grey hair, uh, perhaps, you know, um, a grey beard, or... Uh, gray streaks in their hair quite philosophical as well very wise very philosophical this person has had a lot of experiences i feel like they've had a lot of life experiences as well which has led them to a lot of you know emotional maturity and a lot of wisdom that we see in their energy for a lot of you you're going to meet this person in a very quiet setting or in a very quiet space or even if you're going to meet each other in a crowded room, um, the connection is so intense um, and you're both so receptive to each other's energy that all the noise is suddenly just going to drown out. You know, even if despite you being in this crowded space or this crowded setting, this really loud setting, it's, it, it'll just feel like you and the person, okay? Kind of like, you know, what you see in the movies. This is a relationship that I feel like is going to possibly result in an engagement or a marriage. You've got the lover's card as well. I feel like for a lot of you, this is love, okay? This is, for some of you, you've never loved like this before. For others of you, you've had, you've been in love and you've loved and you've had, you know, you've also lusted and you've had your uh, fair shares of infatuation, but nothing like this, not to this level, because this feels, um, it feels very natural. It feels very organic. This person feels like, um, it feels like this person is your mirror, right? Um, I'm seeing a lot of... I'm seeing a very strong emotional thread that connects the both of you together. I'm also seeing a lot of similarities. Um, I feel like this is this person is... Um, they're definitely, you know, responding to the uh, emotional frequency um, and the vibrations that you put out. This person is definitely responding. Um, they're very receptive as well, very responsive and very receptive to your energy. This person feels as though they're also, I don't know if this is you or this person, but a big believer in, you know, you're whole and you don't need um, anyone else to sort of uh, complete you. There's this uh, element of them being very whole and them being very complete. 
I'm also seeing that this person is someone who's... There's a lot of love here around this person. A lot of love. And this is someone who... We did speak about this person being very committed. So this person is very committed to everything that they have going on in their life. Like their job, their careers, their personal endeavors, their relationships, their connections. Uh, they are committed wholly, like wholeheartedly and wholly, not partially, but like completely. Okay, this person is very big on loyalty, they're very big on respect, you know, on character. Um, I've had a few cards that have just fallen out here. There's this, I feel like your heart chakra is opening up, okay, and I think you're, you're ready to receive love, even if you've had your fair share of um, heartbreaks, and even if you've had, you know, um, a very tumultuous and a very turbulent romantic relationship, you're ready, okay? And you know it. And this person, you know, this is your, this person is ready to fill your cup um, with love, to fill your chalice with love. In fact, you know, this person has so much love to give that it's going to overflow your chalice. You also have a lot of love to give. You're a water energy. Uh, but just in the past, it feels like, you know, you've flown, you've sort of directed that love to the wrong people, people that might have not been, you know, deserving or appreciative of your love. But finally, the universe is ready to balance the scales. Finally, the universe is ready to, um, you know, it's ready to connect you with the one, the person that is going to love you the way that you deserve to be loved, the person that is going to treat you the way that you deserve to be treated, um, the love that you know that you deserve. Okay, so um, a beautiful balance, a beautiful balance of give and take. Um, just a beautiful equilibrium, okay? This isn't someone who, this is someone who's going to be your lover and your best friend. This is your equal, your absolute, you know, your, this, this absolute balance and this absolute equilibrium to this connection. You could potentially, I'm also seeing drinks around this individual. So either this is someone who might ask your first date, they might ask you out for a drink, okay? It could even be a cup of coffee. Um, it could be, um, the both of you might be grabbing drinks. And uh, as I've mentioned, it does feel like it's a quiet setting, but even if it's going to be a louder um, and a bit more of a noisier setting, um, a funny thing is going to happen. It's almost like, you know, um, this magic in the air. All of a sudden... You know, all the people, like the room around you will just sort of melt away and the music will sort of just drown out. Uh, Ten of Swords, yeah, look, I, I see a lot of pain um, in in the energies here. I feel like for a lot of you, you've had your heart broken. And I feel like what you're trying to do now is sort of pick up the pieces and, you know, stitch yourself back up. This person is going to help you with that. This person is going to help you and see that, you know, you're not broken. You're not broken. You're, um, you're whole. And this person is going to love you exactly the way that you deserve to be loved, okay? So there's such a healing quality to this person's energy. There's also an alchemy to this, okay? This is this is fate. This person is your destiny. This person is, um, you know, this is the person that you're meant to be with. This is the person that you're meant to end up with, okay? This does feel very long-term. As I've mentioned for a lot of you, this is something that's going to result in a commitment. So be it an engagement, a wedding, or a marriage, or a de facto relationship, um, you know, w w whichever way it's going to go, it's something you and this person are both um, going to uh, agree on. Don't rush this, okay? As I've mentioned at the start of the reading, it's more of a slow-burning connection, don't be in such a, you know, don't hurry love, basically. Do not hurry love. Uh, with the fool's energy, I feel like he's popped up here because he's asking you to trust the magic of new beginnings. And sometimes you have to take a chance. Now, for a lot of you, I feel like you've been shying away from love or, you know, you've been so hurt that you're not ready to, you don't think you're ready to put yourself out there and to love or to trust again. But you are. And sometimes you have to take a chance. Sometimes, you know, your chance or the risk pays off and sometimes it doesn't. But you don't know. It's a gamble. It's a risk, right? Um, I think you're ready for it. The universe is ready for it. Even if you don't entirely believe it yourself, this person is ready. This person is ready for you. This person is ready for love. You know, this person is ready for the start of something wonderful. And so are you. But do trust, you know, trust in the magic of new beginnings and uh there is a risk. You're going to have to take a risk on this person, okay? And for a lot of you, what that means is opening yourself up and being vulnerable, okay? Even if it means you potentially could get hurt in the process, okay? But I, for a lot of you, I do think the risk is going to pay off handsomely. 
All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.